This is Buffoon, and you're listening to the sound of my voice. So the story is I hit the ribbon cap and discovered I have 40 veiled ribbons. So I've gone through and done every ribbon challenge with Octavia. I've ranked the ribbons on the Schmidt Pain Index, which has four levels. In previous videos, I went through levels 0, 1, and 2. Now it's time for level 3, Cold Sweat. These ribbons are legitimately challenging, either in general or just because I'm using Octavia. All right, let's start off strong. Solo interception with a hobbled dragon key. So easy mode for this is bring Nova. Drop molecular prime and take a nap. I'm not doing that. All right, let's throw the dragon key on. Just a generic whatever Octavia build. Bringing Kastanas can help me keep tabs on a console remotely, but I don't think I'm gonna need them. It's not gonna be that hard. What I am gonna depend on is my operator. Specifically, void dashing. So I'm gonna want Xeneric for operator energy. Xeneric? Whatever. And I'm gonna want Magus Lockdown. I run this pretty much all the time anyway. I was picking Eris Infested Interception for this since before their corporate ship rework. After the rework, it's even easier. All right, let's pick an easy to get to point and grab it first. And then grab the next easiest to get to. So here's the secret with soloing interception. Defend the points you got before getting new ones. Even if you're in the process of capturing one, your existing points are more important. They're going after B, so I'm gonna leave them out here to stand watch. Yep, doing its job. Let's keep the mallet going here. Uh-oh, we're going after A and D. Uh-oh. Time for operator mode. Megas Lockdown stops anything attacking the point in its tracks. Oh shit, they're back at A. A is the hardest one to defend, but Megas Lockdown again. The mallet at B is still doing its job. And that's it. If you like rolling, bullet jumping, and operator mode, then the hobble dragon key isn't much of a handicap. And now it's official. Uh, no thank you. Finally, and I can't even tell you how often I forget this, take off the dragon key. Oh boy, consecutive headshots from Arcwing without getting a status effect. I have three of these, but the status effect one is gonna be trouble. Let me break out my favorite sniper rifle and wait a minute. Oh, no, it's a rifle ribbon and not a shotgun ribbon for once. Okay, so sniper rifle and a high duration Octavia build. And I'm gonna make use of Magus Lockdown again on my operator. The last thing I'm gonna do is make sure I have my Arcwing Deployer on a hotkey. All right, slot nine, and that's bound to semicolon. I said I ran out of letters in the alphabet. Now let's go find some guys. Being invisible isn't necessary, but it makes things easier. All right, Magus Lockdown, quickly into my Arcwing, and shoot him in the head. Megas Lockdown doesn't last that long, so you gotta be quick. Ah, oh, shit, I just reset one. If you hit the ground while on arc wing, the stagger that causes can count as a status effect. I'm gonna have to be super careful. Invisibility can help if Megas Lockdown wears off. Don't try and get more than one at a time. And even if status effects are okay, you still gotta be careful coming out of arc wing. If you accidentally melee something, then it's all reset. It takes a little practice to get fast enough. Making good progress. Oh crap! Reset the status one again. Definitely trouble. Damn it, and again. Clearly I have a problem with the status one. Well, there's a non-status one done. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh, it's a shock Eximus. So these guys will give you electrical status just by being near them. I'm gonna do this guy the hard way. 
Eh, as long as I'm feeling frisky. Ah, damn it. Should have stuck with the easy way. All right, maximum effort. One at a time. Melee into the sky to exit Arcwing. There's two into the sky. Three, four into the sky. Oops. Gotta find the head. Five into the sky. Six. Get nervous now. Seven. Oh god, one more. Tag, you're it. Well, that was an ordeal. Oh, snap. Rubico Riven. Rubico Riven. All right, well, I still got one of these to knock out, so it's time for a lightning round. It's so much easier when you don't have to worry about the status. Huh. I actually already have a Riven for every single bow, including that one. Okay. Killing Dargan pilots before they hit the ground. So easy mode for this is mag. Magnetize them and shoot them with something that has travel time, like the Boltor. I'm not doing it that way. Without mag, you're gonna want something with an area of effect. The Ignis is a popular choice, but I think like before, I'm gonna opt for the Simulor. I've never actually tried it this way. Once again, terminal velocity, primed firestorm, and the alt fire. Cool, I found one right away. All right, shoot it from the front, and again. Nice! And another one for that sniper rifle I don't want to try and say. All right, let's throw on the second ribbon and do it again. No sweat. Let's see how long it takes me to find a Dargan this time. Uh, I'm feeling yakety sacks coming on. Jesus, that took for goddamn ever. Sometimes it takes a while to get these guys' attention. Hello? Notice me! I guess you gotta get on the ground before they'll start shooting at you. Here he comes in for a strafe. Ah, crap. Messed it up. All right, I'm not sure all is lost. I've heard about a trick with the operator. If you can ragdoll them into the air with a void dash, then it supposedly still counts. Might take a few tries. <laughs> it works. You know what? I think there might be something to being on the ground. I'm gonna see if I have better luck on a K drive. Wow, looks like I do. All right, don't screw it up this time. There we go. Wow, I really am having better luck on a. Whoops! You didn't see that. You gotta make sure you shoot him from the front. All right, two for three. Found some on the ground. Three for four. Come on, dudes, get in the stupid things. Oh. <laughs> Saved by the syndicate blast. All right, last one. Ah, uh, whoops. I think I hit that one from behind, which kills the pilot first. It doesn't count. Wow. This isn't hard data, but I'm finding tons of these guys on a K-Drive. Surely I can do one of these guys. Nope. All right, try again. What the? Did you see that? Sometimes they just disappear into thin air for no reason. It adds to the challenge. All right, here's one. Got a good feeling about this one. Finally. All right, was all that worth it? Uh, I'm leaning towards no. All right, synthesize a Simorous target without using traps or abilities. The good news is you only have to do this once. The bad news is you have to do it once. So let's go visit Cephalon personal space and pick up a target. Oh, a corrupted ancient. 
It's already pretty obvious where to find those, but I'm gonna make sure anyway. So there's a group of players that maintain a Steam page that lists every Simmer's target along with where to find it. I'll put the link in the description. For now, let me search the page for Corrupted Ancient. Oh look, it's in the void. Big surprise. I'm gonna go for the capture one, because it's quick and you can wander the map after you're done the objective. I'm gonna put on my high duration Octavia build. And these ribbons usually require a dragon key. Alright, let's find that capture and go. Make sure you see Simmer is talking to you before you do anything else. Let's do the mission real quick. So here's the trick with this ribbon challenge. The ability restriction only accounts after you see the target. Until Simmerus pops up and says there's a target and you see it on your map, the abilities are fair game. There it is. I'm still in the clear until I bring up the scanner. It's after this point that I can't use abilities. Well, that was easy. I have it. Thank you. That's a repeat. All right, I've got another one of these, so I'm gonna do it again. Same mission. Following the trail is hit or miss. Sometimes it stops working for no reason and you have to backtrack until it starts working again. Gotta do the mission real quick. Oh no, he's inside a parkour room. Ah, oh, there's Simmerus. That means I can't use abilities now. Oh no, an invisible out of bounds area cost me my invisibility. All right, maximum effort. You don't need traps. You can knock him down with a flying kick. As many times as it takes. If the Riven had a no status or no damage modifier, this would have been a do-over. I have received the synthesis. Eh, I don't need a stat stick Riven. And I can't say this enough times, take the dragon key off. All right, are you ready for this? Three headshot kills and a single aim glide. So there's a trick to this and it's called Scourge. The alt fire on this throwing weapon puts a magnetized effect around every nearby enemy's head. I have a special build for this one ribbon. Firestorm for range, vile acceleration for speed, cautious shot so it doesn't stagger me, and literally nothing else. We're not killing anything with this. For a secondary, I want to bring something accurate with a high fire rate. Max Stiletto is a good choice. This one requires a dragon key, so throw that on. The last thing I'm going to need is a special Octavia build with Conductor. This will let me use Resonator to attract a bunch of enemies and then keep them in one place. I'm going to visit just a mid-level Grenier mission, do the mission, and find a wide open room I can do this ribbon in. All right, let me throw down a resonator. Oh shit, they're dying pretty fast. Should have picked a higher level. This is my only real problem with Octavia's kit. Resonator should not be doing damage. Anyway, let's see if I can still make this work real quick. Conduct them to one spot, throw down the Scourge Alt Fire, spray and pray. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I didn't expect that to work first try. Let's see that again. One, two, and three. And that's a novelty ribbon, if I ever saw one. All right, before I try it again, I'm gonna do something with this build. There, with negative strength, maybe Resonator won't kill them as fast. I don't need a dragon key for the other ribbon, so off it goes. All right, same deal. Do the mission. Eh, this room's probably big enough. They're definitely lasting a lot longer now. All right, Scourge, jump, spray and pray. I'm not gonna lie, this usually takes me a couple of tries. Let me see that again. One, two, and three. And a single Vasto. That's definitely garbage. Well, there's level three in the bag. Let me pop a Red Bull and join me on the next video for level four, the last level. Oh my goodness, what's left? What haven't I done yet? What could they be?